So I started getting interested in self-organizing systems, which come under the heading of complexity theory when you're talking about living systems uh, and some non-living systems. Uh, complexity sounds complicated, but it's actually very simple. The complexity is how um, individuals, if there are enough of them and if they fulfill certain criteria, they will self-organize into larger scale complex structures. So the, the most common example we use to talk about it are ant colonies because everyone's familiar with ants. So you have a bunch of ants running around and no ant is really planning what's going on in the colony. Um, the, the queen ant is serving a reproductive function. There's no planning going on there. And each ant is just paying attention to the local environment and signals from other ants. And in responding to those, they start to self-organize into food lines, um, into building a colony, into having a, a cemetery, um, having a dump for refuse from the colony, all sorts of higher level complex things that arise because the ants are self-organizing. How that happens is kind of mysterious because uh, it just seems to happen spontaneously in a bottom-up sort of fashion. But we all experience it when we're walking down a sidewalk in a busy street. Um, and you see the way the currents of people walking down the street accommodate each other. You don't have people bumping into each other all the time. And the way um, traffic jams, for example, this wave sort of that develops in a traffic jam um, comes from the way uh, drivers in cars are looking at drivers coming in the opposite direction, it turns out. In LA, they discovered if they block the view at certain key points in the road so that drivers on this side can't make eye contact with the drivers on that side, um, an interaction between them self-organizes into this standing wave that we call a traffic jam. If you block that interaction, the traffic jam doesn't happen. Um, so people organize themselves into neighborhoods and cities, um, into cultures. Uh, Jane Jacobs, um, who talked about how um, cities form, was really talking about complexity theory before there was that terminology. How people, the way they live in a city, create the neighborhoods in which they live. Ants are like that. Um, and it turns out the cells of the body are like that as well. And so each cell in your body is not paying attention to what everyone's doing. There's no master planning cell that's telling all the other cells what to do. And uh, they pay attention to signals from other cells. They pay attention to the temperature, the nutrient supply, um, all sorts of things. And in those interactions, out of those, you get the neighborhoods of the body forming, the different tissues, the different organs, etc. So that's how I started to get involved with complexity theory type things, thinking about how stem cells participate in the body as a self-organizing system. Mm -hmm.